good morning i am dr a uday kumar associate professor department of ec from hindustan college of engineering and technology today we are going to see about the mems micro electro mechanical systems and its applications the contents are first what is mems then components of mems then a fabrication process carried out by the mems then what are the fabrication methods followed for mems then the benefits of the mems then operation of mems then last one the applications of mems first thing what is mems micro electro mechanical systems so micro electro mechanical system is a integration of mechanical elements like sensors actuators and electronics on a common silicon substrates like a chip so it is a fabrication of the mechanical elements uh, that is look like a, a sensor some uh, some purposes that is actuators uh, that is the same thing carried out by the same the silicon chip substrate through the micro fabrication technologies and these are the some uh, that is micro electronic mechanical systems then it is made up of components between 1 to 100 micrometers in size devices very uh, vary from 1 micron to up to several millimeters then the functional elements of mems are miniature structures sensors actuators and microelectronics then one main criterion of mems is that there are at least some elements that have a mechanical functionality whether or not they have kick and move then the uh, different components of the mems the first one microelectronics it is a act as a brain that receives processes and makes the decisions for the mems then the second one under the microelectronics is the data comes from the micro sensors then the second one micro sensors it constantly gather the data from the uh, different type of environments then it passes the data to the microelectronics for processing then micro actuator then micro actuators act as a trigger to activate external device then uh, micro electronics will tell micro actuator to activate the particular device then micro structures extremely small structures built on to the surface of the chip then built right into the silicon of mems and these are the some components of the mems then fabrication different types of fabrication process followed for the mems first one the deposition so as per the name itself it deposits a thin film of materials that is mass glaze that to fabricate some mechanical elements anywhere between few nanometer to the 100 micrometers onto the basic substrate material then the two different methods that is a physical uh, material placed onto the substrate techniques to include sputtering and evaporation and the second method chemical so the stream of source gas reacts onto the substrate to grow a product techniques include chemical vapor decomposition that is cv cvd process and atomic layer decomposition these are the two methods followed for the chemical process then what are the substrate that used for the silicon glass and quartz then the thin films what are the thin films that is used to produce the or fabricate the uh, mems polysilicon material then silicon dioxide then silicon nitride then some type of metals and polymers then the operations begin the mems first one patterning to transfer a pattern onto the whatever that is the the main applications that is transfer the particular pattern whatever we are going to design so pattern into a material after deposition in order to prepare for the etching process so techniques include some type of lithography process that is photolithography is a common technique for the then etching process etching uh, there is a two different type of etching that is first one is wet etching second one is a dry etching so in the wet etching dipping substrate into the chemical solutions so the name itself wet etching that's why it dip the particular substrate that substrate into the chemical solution that selectively removes the material process that provides good selectivity etching rate of target materials then the second one dry etching the material sputtered or dissolved from the substrate with the plasma or gas variations and 
what is the uh, factors to choosing the particular method either wet or dry uh, desired shapes uh, then edge depth and uniformity surface roughness process compatibility safety cost availability and some environmental impact factors then what are the fabrication method followed for the names the first one bulk micro machining process and this tech this technique involves selective removal of substrate selective removal of substrate to produce mechanical components then it is accomplished by the physical either physical or chemical process with chemical is being most probably that using for the mems productions and chemical wet etching is, is popular because of high edge rate and selectivity process these two factors that decide the either wet or chemical etching that is physical or chemical etching process then isotropic wet etching process here that edge rate is not dependent on crystal crystallographic orientation of substrate and etching moves at equal rates in all directions then anisotropic wet etching process here the edge rate is dependent on crystallographic orientation of the substrate only then the second category is the surface micro machining process and this process starts from the deposition of the thin film act as a temporary mechanical layer and deposition and patterning of structural layers then the removal of temporary layers that to remove the uh, under the category of the micro machining process allow movement of the structural layer then the benefits of the surface micro machining process variety of structure sacrificial and etchant combinations uses a single sided wafer processing then it allows higher integration density and lower resultant per die cost compared to bulk micro machining process then drawback for the surface micro machining process uh, the mechanical properties of most thin films are usually unknown and reproducibility of their mechanical properties then the wafer bonding process it, this method uh, involves joining two or more wafers together to create a wafer stack because it is a bulk processing that's why you are going to create some number of wafers we can we cannot create a single wafers to uh, to create some components we can create by using the wafer stack here the three types of wafer bonding direct bonding anodic bonding and intermediate layer bonding here all required substrate that are flat smooth and clean in order to to be efficient and successful manner then high aspect ratio fabrications deep reactive ionizing process then it enables very high aspect ratio etches to be performed in the silicon substrate then side walls of the etched holes are nearly vertical one then the benefits of the mems uh, it having that much smaller area or talk phase much smaller area cheaper than alternatives then in medical market that means uh, disposable one can be integrated with the electronics system on chip soc then the speed lower thermal time constant rapid response times at high frequency rates then power consumption is very less then low actuation energy then low heating power that determines the, the factors that determines the speed then the applications of mens uh, especially used in the biomedical applications that is intracranial pressure sensors then pacemaker applications then intraocular pressure monitors then cerebral spinal fluid pressure sensors then endoscope pressure sensors then infusion pump sensors and this is a pressure, blood pressure sensors on the head of the pin then renal processes then glucose monitoring and inclusive insulin delivery then cell antibody dna rna enzyme measurement devices these are the some biomedical applications of the mems then uh, that the different components that install under the category of the car then some additional applications that is optical mems uh, that is example for the optical mems optical switches and digital micro mirror devices bistable mirrors laser scanners optical shutters and dynamic micro mirror displays then rf mems smaller cheaper and better way to manipulate rf signals then here the reliability is issue but get getting there thank you for that